unit where it consists of three dogs. We've been uh, a unit for seven years now. Myself and my officer Kriplin were the first two canines. This year we have a brand new Officer Lindemann, his brand new dog. And who was here last year? Hey. Remember the guy who was getting chased around? That was Officer Lindemann. He, he paid his dues. Right. <laughs> his dog is Denny. Uh, all the dogs were purchased, purchased with forfeiture money. That means the drug dealers paid for our dogs. All right. What we use the dogs for is patrol work and narcotics detection. All three of the dogs are certified. Uh, Officer Lindemann just graduated a nar canine narcotics school two weeks ago. Danny's now certified to uh, detect narcotics. Yeah, but not uh, in a few minutes, we're going to demonstrate it. Some of the questions people ask us, how do you train the dogs to detect narcotics? We never let the dogs get to the drugs. These dogs cost a lot of money, and we're not going to let the dogs get to the drugs. We train the dogs by tennis balls. Our dogs want their toy. They associate the odor of narcotics with their tennis ball, and that's what they look for. When they're searching the car or a house, or we don't do What we do when we're working narcotics on the vehicles, we basically present the vehicle to the dog. We show the dog where we want to go. Don't jump on that. He shows interest, we let the dog go. The dog's going to detect narcotics in the vehicle, out of the vehicle, hidden compartments. Look at Denny found. Denny's taught to stay there and keep his nose as close as he possibly can. Under law, if the dog sits down and alerts like that, that's an instant search warrant. We're allowed to search that vehicle. Wow. We don't have to go to wake up a judge in the middle of the night. So what you can do like we're doing that. We can go and they hold on to the suspect until we get there. Their whole job is to apprehend hold and wait till we get there. Now the last thing people ask us about our cars. Our cars are specially equipped just for the dogs. The back seats are a complete canine kennel. They have uh, thermometer set up in there so we know how hot the car is getting. If our cars get over 85 degrees, it sets off an alarm. Our overhead lights come on, our siren goes off, and our pagers get paged. And it rolls the windows down. If a person fires at us, we're not going to go in the car after him. We're going to send the dog in after him. He got him. And of course, Danny Abley has one pair of handcuffs. He knows where his teeth. <laughs> but also, Crippling is doing what's called the recall drill. All our dogs, if we send a dog on a bite and something changes and the bad guy surrenders, we can recall the dogs. I was going back, so the canine handlers in 1990 went to an electronics company and said we need to do something so we can get these dogs out of trouble. They came up with a paging system, a simple belt, uh, button on the belt. We push the button, it opens our side door, and the dogs can come out. And we train the dogs to, when they come out of the car, immediately look for us. And if we're fighting, that's the one time they're allowed to protect them. He's the one that likes it. <laughs> that's a queen. Hi. Eat it. Don't eat it. Gil. Look at his face. Gil. 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 Yeah, but that, believe me, without all that panning, he'd be screaming. Just the other day, they had they cut the 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 dog the 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 the